start to cross in front of her. And I picture her now beginning to kick that fin down. So it's going to be pushing water that direction. And she's going to start to move this way. And to me, when I'm animating it, it's like I know where I'm going. I, I kind of have a picture in my head of, of this mermaid swimming over this way. But I don't want to just have her go there. I want to, I want to save that for last. It's like, it's like uh, the, the ace I've got in my hand is the, this pose of her swimming away. And the more I can hold that back, the better it is. Um, so she's, she's beginning to swim over that direction, but I've actually got her, I think I'm going to have her move her torso towards me a bit. This hair would be, would be coming up, hiding the back there really. Something about hair with all these characters. I I really really like characters with a lot of hair. It's very satisfying and fulfilling for me. Okay, so so now she's beginning to kick her her fins and her throat, which is throwing her hips up that direction. And this is coming down over there. And I'm thinking she's going to move this way. Now, in my mind, I just try to explain what's going on in my head. I'm thinking, okay, now she's going to start moving over here, and I've delivered it too soon. I mean, all I have for the audience is is that the intention of you know what she's going to do. She's going to go swimming off here, so you don't want to give that to them. You want to hold that back. And I'm looking at that thinking, oh, I'm about to get her swimming right over there and it's too soon. I think what I'd like to do is, is slow her head down a little bit. It's like her intention is to, to go that way. So I'm drawing her looking. Does that, can you see what's happening there? Does that make sense? Okay. It looks so bright up there, I don't know. Wait, can you see? Yeah. Okay. I wonder if I change the light on this. That looks better on my camera. Okay. So. So now I'm going to start kicking her hips up here. Her arms are coming back this way. And basically, Ariel designed her as triangle and little teardrop shape, circle, and then this amorphic hair, and then into triangle shape with the, uh, the fins. Which is just kind of a, a pleasant design. So now she's she's getting ready to swim over there. And I let the hair go back into its aerial telltale shape. And that hand has been moving up like this, and so I've got to let it keep following that arc. S 
So this little whip of this hair too, it's whipping this way and it's coming up, it's moving like that, it means it's gonna stay up here a little bit. And it's actually gonna swirl around there like that. And now, instead of her swimming out really quickly, I let her move a little bit. And what I'm thinking is I'm gonna use her hips and her fins to start to set up for some, some big kick to send her out. As long as you can still feel the energy hasn't dissipated and all this built up energy is really coming back into her hips and the fins. Let's see, so what's the hair going to do now? I think the hair is probably going to move over here and I, I want to get it away from the hips so you can actually see and feel what's, what's happening there. That arm is really going to get hidden by her hand, that's okay. What's really nice about animation is that you can control, you have the power to control a something, an object, so that you want the audience to, to see it for a while. It's like I'm I'm really doing a little magic trick here. I'm I'm keeping her head still because I want you to see it before she she heads out. Now, in the beginning, I'm going to start to let her kick back, like this, is beginning to move that way. really pushing in a big movement right there. Boom. You can feel it just pushing against that way. Can you see that up there? Yeah. But once again, I don't want to just start moving her head that way. Um, I think I'm just going to keep that that head really still just to really pay off. It's like animation is you're participating in the life of a character at the same time they're they're living it but you're you're feeling all the same dynamics like i can feel that i, I just know how that should feel the uh, the push of water being it's like it's there's by her doing this i know that there's got to be this energy building up like this force is going to start to push her this direction. And I think the first thing that's going to start to move will be her her hips, right? It's going to start 